Let me put it this way, don't buy any hacky sack balls. <laughs> That's really funny, it's you. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are you, you, you really think it's funny? You sure? Yeah. I think when he was getting rid of his dependence on alcohol, he was able to be inspired by something like cartooning. So it's sort of that gave birth to the cartooning. You got a problem, Callahan. <laughs> He was a jokester, he was a visual comedian. The cartoons were really just coming out of puns. He had a, like affection for puns, being Irish. Aren't you glad you met us? John doesn't like us. Well, of course I like you. I just can't get laid with any of you. Have you tried? Well, have you tried? The journey is dark. Maybe you were weakened so you could become strong. That's why it's important when there's time for humor and for levity to seize those opportunities. How about that girl? She was digging you, man. <laughs> Callahan and Donnie are laughing at things that are so extreme. That was something that I definitely do and was cool that we explored. I just don't think I've ever been happier, more challenged, but also happier being a character for a while. Donnie, even with all he has going on, seemed to be at peace inside. And that was a really awesome thing to get to be for a while. I need. Sponsor. I do have a lot of piglets at the moment. What are piglets? I need a sponsor. My sponsees are piglets. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. You want me to help you get sober? All I ever care about doing is bringing something beautiful to people. It's nice to move people one way, to affect them, to murder them a little bit. <laughs> this is the way to put it on. He who jokes <sighs> confesses. By the time I go to bed at night, I mean, if I don't draw 50 or 60 cartoons, I'd be insane. Having a movie made about my brother has is pretty exciting. It also brings back every type of emotion. I think it's such a great story because of all he overcame. What did I do to you? What did I do to piss you off so much? Why are you gonna treat me like this? You know, I hear you're putting a lot more mileage on that wheelchair than the average quadriplegic. Yeah, because I'm an active worker! Living in Portland and the Pacific Northwest in general, uh, our weeklies uh, would always carry um, a John Callahan cartoon. So for as long as I can remember, I was very used to his, um, his aesthetic, his drawing style, that kind of like charming messiness, the lines, the, the thickness of the ink, and then, you know, his very acerbic take on life. Hey, I loved your Jesus joke, man. Oh, really? Thank God it's Friday. Your cartoons are sickening. You should be dropped from the paper. She was really mad. Yeah. I like this reaction to Zepesta. You know, she's really telling it like it is. One aspect of his life was about his own cartoons that sometimes addressed quadriplegia or, or different, different disabilities. He was challenged by very angry letters or hate mail about what he was doing when the, the readers didn't necessarily understand he was a quadriplegic himself. My brother sits in a wheelchair. Until Mr. Callahan can understand the emotions behind such a life of struggle, I feel he should not feel so freely about poking fun at the disabled. I, I never understood when people write an angry letter to me. I'm supposed to feel shamed or something, but I'm sort of tired of uh, taking it so personally because it's so exhausting. Things might have gone too far. We have 55 letters here from the student body complaining about your cartoons. It's offensive. The alcohol recovery itself became sort of the centerpiece to a lot of the things that happened in his life and was also a subject of a lot of his cartoons. He could not stop cartooning. It became the main reason for living. <laughs> OK, that's funny. That's funny. I grew up in Portland. My sort of artistic timeline almost matched his. So when he wrote the book, Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot, um, I was at the same time just starting to show Drugstore Cowboy. So we were two like local artists that were finding their way in the world. I work hard, but it doesn't feel like work to me. I like to thank all those who made it possible for me to be here tonight. Because if it weren't for you, I don't think I would have made it. <laughs>